winning slot secrets. Now you have a fighting chance. Welcome to Las Vegas, the fastest growing tourist destination. If you haven't, by all means, indulge yourself. They are more fun. Those one-armed bandits can just get to you. And you can win up to $10 million. You can win trips. I personally have been on two trips, one by my husband in slot machine tournaments. And let me tell you, Hawaii is gorgeous. By all means, play those machines and have fun. <laughs> With gambling being legalized in so many different states, it's no wonder that everyone wants to visit the ultimate gambling mecca, Las Vegas. Even though this was filmed entirely in Las Vegas, what you learn in this video will help you find loose slots no matter where you play. In this video, we'll cover a variety of subjects, from starting a gambling bankroll to finding those mega jackpots. We'll also show you the insides and outsides of slot machines and tell you the odds that nobody wants you to know. Discipline is probably the most important factor when it comes to gambling. And discipline begins at home. You need to know how much money you want to spend each day and also how much money you want to win. You need to decide how much money you're able to spend and start saving a little each day until you reach that goal. Remember, playing with money that you cannot afford to lose is the second worst thing you can do. And the first is getting money on your credit card. Imagine having to pay interest on money that you may have lost gambling. Now that you have your money saved, you need to divide it into equal groups for as many days that you plan to gamble. And then divide it once again into different groups for each session. For future reference, nickel machines are considered low level play. Quarter machines, medium level, and dollar machines, high level. If you play nickels, you need $50 to $100 per day. If you play quarters, you need $100 to $200 per day. And dollar machines, you need $500 per day. Now that you know how much money you want to spend, you also need to set a limit on how much money you want to win. Remember, the difference between winners and losers, winners know when to quit. Playing slots isn't magic. It's just playing correct. Now that you've done your homework, let's go hit the slots. To win big money at craps, you have to bet big money. To win big money at blackjack, you have to bet big money. So to win big money at slots, does that mean you have to bet big money? No. For just $3, you can win millions. Everyone agrees that progressive slot machines are probably the worst bets to make. But if you do play them, make sure that you always play the maximum coin. When you walk up to a machine, always read the glass to find out exactly what type of machine you're playing and exactly how to play it. Avoid playing slot machines at airports and restaurants. They tend to have a lower payback. When you hit the jackpot, do not put another coin in until you've been paid because the machine itself 
will not pay the total jackpot. You need to call the change attendant. Remember, as long as you're playing a machine, it's yours. But as soon as you walk away, you have no claim to anyone's jackpot if they walk up and hit it after you're gone. When you hit a jackpot, it's common courtesy to play it off. Who knows, you might hit another one. After a winning session, it's time to take a breather. Sit back, analyze what you've learned, how you played correctly before you go into your next machine. Now that we've showed you how to find the hot machines, let's show you a couple of different ways to play. The first one is the slot multiplier. Each play consists of 30 pulls. The first one is one coin, then two coins, and then three coins. At the end of this session, if you're successful, you have a profit, then you go to the second one, which is one coin, two coins, three coins, and then three coins again. At the end of this session, if you have a profit, we go to the third step, which is one coin, two coins, three coins, three coins, and three coins. Once again, if you have a profit, then you go on to step four. And this is two coins, three coins, and three coins. If you have a profit, you quit. If at any point along the way, you register a loss, you stop and start over. This system is for quarter machines. All you need is a $30 bankroll to start. Out of those $30, take 20 coins. Find a quarter machine, drop one quarter in, and pull the handle. Do this five times. If you have a winner out of one of those times, stick with the machine. If not, you can try up to four machines trying to find a hot one. Once you've found the hot machine, then you run the quarters through. You've got $25. After you've run half the quarters through, you should have a profit of $12.50. If not, stop and go to another machine. If you do win, continue on. After you've run the entire $25 through, you should have anywhere from $37.50 to a $50 profit. If you do, that's a good time to quit. This next system is a budget system. You get $10 worth of nickels and drop them in one at a time. At the end of the session, you convert to quarters. Take the quarters and drop them in one at a time. At the end of that session, you convert to dollars and then you drop them in one at a time. Ideally, you would have at least 200 coins for each session. But if not, don't be discouraged because you once again remember this is the budget system. Eventually, you'll be able to work your way up to a more aggressive play. Each machine has to pay its own way in a casino. Nickel machines have a lower percentage because it takes more nickels to make a profit. Quarter machines are not quite as bad. You get more payback than on the nickel machines, but the ultimate machine to play are the dollars. They have a greater percentage of payback, therefore a greater reward. Inside the machine, everything is electrical. When you close this box, the heat is trapped inside. When you play a machine and the coins come out of the hopper into your tray, put them in your hand and feel them. If they're hotter than what the ones that you put in, you know that the machine hasn't paid out in a while. If they're cooler, chances are you have a cool machine. That's what they used to do. When they cheated, they'd drill a hole in here and run a wire in and stop the clock. 
because that keeps it spinning. Because when the clock stops, that's when they stop or it slows down, yeah. In 1895, Charlie Fay invented the slot machine. Little did he know that his invention would grow to such great proportions. When he first invented the machine, each reel had 10 stops. 10 times 10 times 10 for a possible 1,000 combinations. We'll talk a little bit about that later and how much the odds have changed. After Charlie Fay came a guy named Herbert Mills. He upped the odds a little bit by putting 20 stops on each reel. Now, 20 times 20 times 20 is 8,000 possible winning combinations. These machines were created especially for the 1933 Chicago's World Fair. The skyline is represented here on top of the machine. This is the 1932 Roman head machine. It was the first machine that paid out a $20 gold piece as a top award. This is a 1936 Bird of Paradise, the most sought after machine by collectors. This is a 1935 Cherry Front. This beautiful and elegant extra bell, some collectors feel is the most attractive slot machine ever manufactured. This is 1937 Jennings. Imagine back then a nickel. We get you a payoff like that. In 1939, Mills introduced their chrome bell machine, which had a chrome plated front accented by 10 diamonds which gave rise to the nickname Diamond Fern. As you see, I've had a little luck with this machine, but what I want to point out here is the buttons. The buttons are probably the most important part of the machine. You can play one credit at a time and pull the handle. Or you can play two credits and pull the handle and you've got control of the machine at all times. If you don't want to pull the handle, just play the two credits, and it spins automatically. But if you feel it changes your luck, pull the handle. As a general rule, you should always play the maximum amount of coins. But we've noticed on the bar seven machines that if there's no pay on the center line, the next spin normally generates a no pay. So if you play only one coin instead of two, this situation comes up about 50 times in an hour. So you'll save yourself $50, and that'll give you 25 more spins to win the jackpot. When you're playing machine, and your light starts flashing, and the number starts flashing, please call a change attendant. That means you have money coming, the machine has run out, and the hopper's empty and needs to be filled. Once again, please do not leave the machine. Call somebody. The advantage of playing with credits, once again, is that you know where you stand at any given time. I know that I started with 20 credits, and now I have 60. But the disadvantage of playing credits are you tend to play them too fast. And before you know it, you're back where you started from. When you walk into the casino, make sure you join the slot club. They'll give you a card that looks something like this. That's a little magnetic stripe on the back. When you put it in, make sure you put it in correctly, and the machine will say, card accepted. They're able to keep track of all of your money that you spend and award you points. These points can be traded in for food, for room, for shows. 
Make sure also that you contact a casino hostess and she will be able to tell you or take care of any problems that you have when you want to redeem your points. But once again, always make sure you play with your card. Back home, we have vending machines that take quarters and dollars and they take all denominations of coins. But when you're talking about slot machines, they take the exact coin that they call for. Nickel machine take nickels, quarter machines take quarters, and dollar machine take dollars. You cannot put four quarters in a dollar machine or five nickels in a quarter machine. Play the right coin. Can you see what this lady is doing wrong? She's playing the machine, paying absolutely no attention to where her purse is. This isn't back home. It's not safe to leave your purse in between the machine. Always keep it over your shoulder. When you get ready to leave the machine, always check your credits and your buttons. If the lights are lit, that means you definitely have money coming. And remember, never leave your machine without checking your credits. There are four basic types of machines. The first one is the single pay line. You can play from one to six coins on this particular machine, but you get paid for everything. All of the symbols are activated with that one coin. Just the more coins you bet, the more money you can win. The second machine is the multiple pay line. On this particular machine, it's three lines. For each coin, you activate a different line. And the third line, once again, is the one that generates the jackpot. The other multiple pay line machine consists of five lines. Once again, first coin activates the middle line. The second coin activates the top, the third activates the bottom, but the fourth coin now gives you the diagonal, and the fifth coin activates the jackpot. Of the machines, this is probably the worst one to play. This is what they call the option buy. For one coin, you get the cherries. For two coins, you get the oranges, the plums, and the belts. And the third coin activates the bars. That means if you're playing this machine, and you only play one coin, and anything comes up besides cherries, you don't win. As a general rule, if you want to win some money, you're going to have to play the dollar slots eventually. It's five, 25, and 100 dollar slots. Most machines accept all denominations from $1 to $100. Although video slots are also computer driven like the normal ones, you'll probably feel more comfortable playing your basic slot machine. For those of you that don't know, slot machines are not legal in all states. In Nevada, when you hit a jackpot on the slot machine, anything over $1,200 you have to pay taxes on. So that's why some are regulated to just pay $1,199. Take a chance. When 
Charlie Fay invented the slot machine, each reel had 10 stops. 10 times 10 times 10 for 1,000 possible combinations. In the early 1900s, Kirby Mills added 10 more stops. So it's 20 times 20 times 20 for a possible 8,000 combinations. In the early 60s, they added 64 stops per reel. 64 times 64 times 64 for a possible 262,144 combinations. In the early 80s, they added 128 stops per reel. So 128 times 128 times 128 is 2,097,152. On the progressive machines you see all around Nevada, they now have 240 stops per reel. 240 times 240 times 240 times 240 because there's four reels and for a total combination of 4,569,760,000 combinations. If you walk up to a slot machine and you hit a jackpot, don't walk away from the machine. Continue to play because you never know. Sometimes they come back to back. Well, I was out walking in the summer heat. Thought I'd stop by 7-Eleven and uh, grab a big gulp. Thought of a couple more things I want to tell you about the slots. When you're playing on the machine and you want to play credits, always make sure you press this button first. And when you're playing the slot machines, when you're playing on credits, by playing the max play, you always get the full amount in case you get the big jackpot. Remember, there's nothing wrong with playing a slot machine that you've seen somebody win on. After they're gone, continue to play, you might hit the jackpot itself because it might be in that paying mode. And if not, you can always cash out. An alternative and often highly profitable way of using your winnings is to take your profits and move to a machine of higher denomination. Say you take $100 and you run it through a dollar slot machine, now you've got 150. Pocket the 50, take the $100 and move up to the $5 slots. You'll find this is very successful most times. Hi, I'm Marty, a slot floorman at a major casino in downtown Reno. Here's a couple of points I like to remember when you're playing the slot machines. Number one, don't walk away from your credits. Don't leave your money in the machine. I see people doing this every single day. Number two, when you're playing the progressive machines, play to the maximum. Always bet the maximum. It can make the difference between winning thousands or possibly millions. Bet the maximum. When you put your money in the machine, and remember these machine takes all denominational bills from one to 100, your credits will ring up right here. As you play with the credits, when you press the two play for the maximum credits, that way you know you always have the right amount in to win this big jackpot. Because you'd hate to have just one credit in and have the jackpot come up and you're cheating yourself. In a crowded casino, it is a general rule that you can only play one machine at a time, which is what you want to do anyway, because you want to devote your entire attention to playing the machine. If you're playing on a machine that doesn't have credits, you can use these buckets for a handy reference. A small bucket like this holds about $35 in nickels and about $100 in quarters. A bigger bucket like this holds $75 in nickels and $200 in quarters. 
I find the best time to play the slots are early in the morning, 2, 3, 4 o'clock, after they've been played all night, and they're just ripe for the plucking. Plus, there's less of a crowd. You don't have all the noise and people to deal with. As you're walking around looking for that hot machine, make sure you check all the machines and that there's no strange lights on because you might walk to one that somebody has walked away from leaving their credits. Whoa, we have that right here. Remember to find your comfort zone. If you feel happy playing the nickels, stay with the nickels. Don't let anyone force you to play those dollar machines until you're ready. The most reliable and consistent machines are those that feature the single, double, and triple bars when you line them up on a single pay line. The second best machines are bar sevens that offer three pay lines. It's the law. Slot machines cannot just eat up your coins and not give any back. In fact, even though they do not pay back all the coins dropped into them, they must pay back on average 87% of the money they receive. So the house gets to keep 13% on average. The word average is important here. Many establishments advertise 95 or 97% edge to the player, which really means that the house will keep only 3%, which is not an edge for the player at all. To maintain the average, that 97%, which some machines pay out, must be balanced by machines which pay only 77%. The house thus maintains its average hold or vigorous. The machines that offer a high percentage payback are known as loose machines. Those that offer a small percentage are tight. The trick is to find those loose machines. The diagram illustrates these principles. Although the layout is hypothetical and there are likely to be more machines per carousel or bank, but with fewer loose machines, the general idea applies. Loose machines will be found where people can see them paying off. Notice in the diagram that the loose machines are marked in green, are near the entrances to the casino itself, to the main floor and showroom and restaurants, and at the corners where the walkways of high traffic converge. They are not found where banks of machines face each other or a wall or a walkway frequented by employees. Remember, the diagram is hypothetical in general. The chances of finding two loose slots side by side are two, slim and none. Now that you've reached your final destination, before you go into the casino, your heart's pumping, your adrenaline's flowing, you're ready for those machines, don't jump at the first one you come to. Look around, see where the crowds are, see where the people are playing, listen for the sound of money the coins falling in the tray, that'll be your first hint to find your hot machines. If you go in, the casino's quiet, there's no noise, find another casino, try a second spot. Don't just jump on those first machines. If you see people with trays full of money, you hear people screaming, that's the time to go up to those machines, check them out, see who's winning and who's not. Next time you're in Las Vegas, make sure you stop by Vintage Slots. 3379 Industrial Road, or call the 800 number for a free brochure. If you've enjoyed this video, please look for my others at a store near you. And remember, drive careful. The life you save may be mine.